you guys, Roxbox90 here with another pack in time sponsored by apugames.com. So today we go to the Realm of Dark Steel, which was home to one of the most ridiculously crazy rares of its time, Ravager, which is I think still used in modern, but my god, that card was stupid good. I mean, until Jace was probably the most offensively broken card in format. Until Jace the Mind Sculptor. So let's crack it open and see what we got in Darksteel Pack. So, some more artifacts. The modular, which was pretty interesting at its time. Modular lets you move one plus one counters when things die around artifacts. Then we have, again, more artifact focused. Probably good in uh, showroom, maybe. Reap and Sow, which was a versatile destroy spell. Again, the entwine is very powerful. Affinity which is still a huge deck in Modern. We have a Whisper Self Cloak, decent for protecting and letting your general through. Machinate, Machinate. Oh. Acolyte, Moon Vessel. On Commons, we have a Volshulk War Boar, a Nurok Transmitter, which manipulates artifacts, so it's kind of cool. Thunder Staff, and a Well of Lost Dreams. I saw this card before. Whenever you gain life, you may pay X for X is less than or equal to life you gain. If you do, draw X card. Whoa. Okay, there. That could be really powerful in an EDH life gain deck. I don't know if there's some sort of combo deck or something with it, but that could definitely be useful in EDH life gain. That is very versatile. But since whenever you gain life, um, then you can basically pay for cards which is very useful. Card Advantage EDH. So that was our Dark Steel pack. Let me know what you think about the contents below in the comment section as well. ABU Games will be linked below in the description. They have a huge variety of singles and sealed products, so definitely go check them out. And as always, Rocks the Box of 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.